hello everyone today i'll be showing you how to bypass frp on your blue studio j2 so this works on most of the blue devices out there as long as you have the firmware then you can follow me in the video but specifically for the blue studio j2 so i'll provide the link for this in the description so let me just show you the issue so if you continue here you can see i have to enter my wi-fi network and i cannot skip so if i were to put in my password and continue and when you connect to your wi-fi you will get to this screen which says the device is reset to continue signing the google account that was previously synced on this device but most of you have probably forgotten the account now to continue the method i'll be using is restoring the firmware and clearing the bootloader so that we can delete all the stored account data so to continue you must have your firmware downloaded so you can see here that's the firmware and i've already extracted it and the MediaTek drivers, I'll provide the links for that, and SP Flash tool. So to continue, power of the phone. Okay, now. If the phone powered off, open SP Flash tool. With SP Flash tool open, go to find the skitter file. Now that was a previous firmware that I had, so don't worry about that. Click on choose and um, this window will open here. So locate the folder where you have the firmware downloaded, in my case desktop, and I have it in this folder and you can see the model here so double click and select firmware and skater.txt all right and it will load now one thing to keep in mind too be very careful with the preloader because sometimes some firmware that you get online the preloaders are modified now the preloader is the bootloader and that is a very very crucial crucial part on the phone so you have to be very careful with that now in order to do to continue so that we can bypass the frp and delete all the stored account data we have to click on format all plus download to format our bootloader and um, all the other partitions on the device so to continue you click download and then you connect the phone so connect and then you hear the sound and then you'd see here you see this getting red and says D download DA download and then it will start the flash process. So it depends on in my case the speed is about 16.54 meg megabytes a second and uh, it has to go up to 1.8 gigabytes. So you can see the oh, the process here so just be patient it won't take that long because as you can see it's already on 20 percent and counting so just be patient when it's done we'll reboot the phone and then the um frp should be removed and then you can successfully use your phone uh, with no issues so just wait for this process to complete and everything should be fine Just if, don't shift the phone as much because if you do, it can corrupt the process. So be very careful. As soon as you connect the phone, just lay it there. Do not shift the USB or anything because this can corrupt the process. So be very careful with this. Just allow it to do its thing. Okay, so 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and we're done. And then 
all right and we're done okay so once you see this on your screen wait till this appears on the screen and then you can disconnect the phone or wait until you hear the sound of the phone being disconnected and then power on so powering on got a bit disturbed there okay you can see and the flash is complete and the phone is ready to power on so just be patient okay all right so once you see this the phone would boot up i will skip that okay so boot up is complete now now that the boot up is complete you tap on next so let's verify that the frp is bypassed and yes it is bypassed so you can see skip here so once you see this just know that you do not have the frp lock anymore so skip skip anyway agree and continue date and time name i won't put a password skip skip anyway uh, nope don't sign me up next and google play services next all right and we're done so you can see we have already bypassed frp now if you do not want this to happen in future now it's all up to you it's all up to you i'm just giving a suggestion here if you don't want it to happen in future all you have to do is go to settings about device enable build um, developer options go back and go to developer options turn that on open and enable oem unlock so this won't happen in future once you enable oem unlocking because your bootloader is unlocked but when your bootloader is locked then you will have frp lock but i won't keep it on because of course i want my phone to be protected from thieves so i will turn it off and uh, go back okay so we're done here. okay so we're done if you like the video of course hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it provides a lot of motivation for me and um I enjoy help t helping you out today and um, if you have any questions of course you can put them down in the comments below and I will answer so this is it for me thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video thank you very much for watching my video everyone if you like the video of course hit that thumbs up subscribe share your support to my channel because it really motivates me and shows how much you support my channel so I will see you in another video, share the video, um, and show your support. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in another video.